Hey everybody, Arnaldo Waffman here with Emulation Touch Video Manuals. In this video, we're going to talk about connecting your Emulation Touch into your wireless router so you can connect it with your handheld device. Now it's very simple. All you have to do is make sure they're both plugged in. And we're just going to go ahead and take this guy here. And we're going to go into the back of the wireless router. Right away, your wireless router should light up, showing a connection, and you should also see your little lights here blinking as well. Now, one or two things are going to happen. You're either going to see a red or a white LED. If it's blinking in red, this means that this is set to DHCP. So, what that means is that the IP address will automatically be set by your wireless router, just like a traditional computer network. If it is set to white, then the touch is going to be set to a static IP address. And we're going to go over uh, differences on that later on. This is really good, especially if you want to do some direct programming from your computer. And I'll cover that in a video as well. So basically, to switch between both, all we got to do is just take this. We're just going to click it there. And now it's set on DHCP. If I click it again, you're going to see that it's going to be set on white. And there it is. So... If you, set the stat if you set it on static, if that's what you choose to do, because maybe you don't want other people messing with it, whatever the case may be, and later on you forget the IP address or you need to reset it back to zero, all you got to do is just hold this down and it's going to blink for a bit. Once you see that rapid blink, we're back to the static IP address or the default one. That default address is 192.168.1.10. Again, 192.168.1.10. We're going to go ahead and switch this back to DHCP. This router is already set to work on DHCP, so it should be an instant connection into the iPad. We're going to go ahead and open it up. It's going to present you a black screen at first you should be greeted with a nice blank emulation touch interface like you see here. Just to double check though, click on options and on your devices, you should see your relation touch unit listed in there. We're gonna go over some of the options that are on here as well as your patch options and everything else. I'm pretty much gonna talk you through the entire programming and life process. And there you have it. The relation touch unit is now connected into my handheld device and will be ready for programming or even remote triggering using the second remote app. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share with other people that you believe would benefit from this video. Thank you very much for watching. Good night, and God bless.